Hi there guys, this is Nikhil from Greedy Tech and these are some quick tips and tricks for your Lenovo Vibe K4 Note. So guys, this is the phone and you have the double tap to wake feature. I'll show you how to enable it. But for now, just see all the features or all the things that you can do. So you can simply double tap the screen when it is locked to wake it up and normally swipe down or swipe up to unlock it. So if you have set up a fingerprint password, you can simply place your finger on the scanner to unlock the device. So when you're on the lock screen, you can simply swipe right to quickly open up phone dialer or swipe left to open camera. So let me unlock the device. So this device comes with a home launcher that is very similar to the Google launcher. So you can see that in the transitions. So apart from that you have the capacitor buttons down below. This is for recent, this is for home and this is the back button. You can press and hold the recent button for menu. So it will just act as a menu or else you can change an option in the settings which makes this as a menu and when you press and hold it, it will take you to the recent tabs. So I'll just show you how to do that. So before that, this is the status bar and if you simply swipe it down, you get all your notifications and then you get your toggles. So you have your quick shortcuts. If you press on the date, it will take you to the calendar. If you press on the time, it will take you to date and time settings or the clock app. And if you press the battery or the battery percentage, it will take you to the power manager. And once you're here, you have these two options. One is the battery saver mode and other one is the ultimate power saver. So if you enable the battery saver mode, the background data will be disabled. So if you have WhatsApp running in the background, it will stop working. If you have battery saver enabled, let's say you have enabled the battery saver mode like this. Then you'll see this orange bar on the status bar as a notification or an indication. So when this mode is enabled, all the applications that are running in the background won't have access to internet and thereby increase your battery life. So that is one way how Google tries to improve the battery life. All the foreground applications will have access to internet, even the battery saver mode. Next we have something called as ultra power saver. So once you enable it, it will simply block all the applications running in the background and improve your standby time and it will give you access to these basic applications. So you have your phone dialer, contacts, SMS, calculator, calendar and radio. I guess you can press and hold these icons and change them. So you have additionally clock and radio. So these are all the apps that you can use on ultra power saving mode. So if you can root this device, you can tweak it to use other apps too. So for now, let's quit it. So guys, this device has dual front facing speakers and they are powered by Dolby Atmos technology. So if you want to use that or if you want to access those settings, you need to go to settings and then select ringtone and volumes and at the bottom you have option for Dolby Atmos. So over here you can change the equalization or the mode in which you want to hear the music or the sound. So you have movie, music and game or else voice or you can even customize it. So I'm not very familiar with it. So if you want, you can play with it a little. In the same page that is ringtones and volume, you can change your ringtone for SIM1 and SIM2. You can change message tone individually for SIM1 and SIM2. And you can also change your notification tones. If we go to other sounds, you have the option to disable dial pad tones, screen lock sounds and touch sounds. I like to keep the vibration on touch for the haptic feedback. But if you want to save a little more battery, disable that option too. So guys, if we go to the notification center, we have the option to display the network usage and the wireless LAN connection status. And if we go to notification bar icons, we can change the notification toggle positions. And next, if we go to the lock screen, we have something called as smart lock. So using this particular option, you can automatically unlock your device based on your location. So for that, you need to enable trusted places or automatically unlock your device as long as you're using it. So for that, you need to enable the onboarding detection. So these are some of the basic things that you can find on most of the Android devices. So to get to the features provided by the Vibe UI, you need to go to feature in the settings. So you have something called as quick snap. So when you lock this device, you simply press the volume buttons twice to take a picture immediately. So that is quick snap for you. Let me unlock the device. So for that option, you need to enable this option. Next, we have something called as knock to light. So by default, the double tap to wake is not enabled. So this is how it looks. If you want to use the double tap to wake feature, make sure you enable this option. 
next we have something called as white touch which is just a bubble like on iPhone so this is the bubble and when you click it you get this additional options you can configure it according to your liking and next we have the flip to sleep option so now the device is unlocked and if I flip it it will be locked so I didn't press any buttons and still it locked that's the flip to sleep option let me unlock it next we have fingerprint gestures so from here we can take pictures using the fingerprint so you have an option for that over here next you have the options for single tap and long press the fingerprint so I have set it such a way that when I press the fingerprint when the device is unlocked it will take me to the home and when I press and hold it it will lock the device and when I press and hold it it will open the recent panel so let me just press the scanner once so it took me to the home screen and now if I press and hold it it will open the recent panel so these are some nice gestures that come pre-installed or inbuilt but I would really like some more gestures let's hope they add it in the future updates next we have something called as VR mode switch so if it is enabled you get this option to enable VR mode in the power options you just need to press power button press and hold it you get this option VR mode so once you enable it you get dual screens this is basically useful if you are having the Ant VR headset by Lenovo so to come out of this mode once again press and hold the power button and select VR mode and now you are out so guys if you go to settings once again you have schedule power on and power off you can set it such that after 12 your phone gets switched off and at morning 6 it gets turned on once again it saves a little more battery and you won't be interrupted by any stupid calls next if we go to sim card settings we can choose the default sim for calls sms and data plan and if you go to call settings we have the option to record calls and the option to end calls using the power button you have other options too do check it out so there you have it guys these are the quick tips and tricks for lenovo vibe k4 note so guys if you want a complete walk of your k4 note there's a link for that in the description area do check it out i'll leave a playlist to all the videos that i made on this device in the description area do check it out too so if you want to buy this device there's a link for that in the description area too if you have any doubts do let me know by commenting below this video if you like this video give me a thumbs up and share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel to see more videos just like this